Welcome to EU Tweets. This week it's Google in a pickle, Theresa May looking fickle, and opposition to gay marriage in Germany slowing to a trickle. Commission Investigator slapped Google with a record-breaking 2.4 billion euro fine for promoting its own comparison shopping service and abusing dominance. But who gets the cash? The Commission said it's good news for taxpayers as it goes straight into the EU coffers. Google, meanwhile, released what it calls the other side of the story, but most people seemed pleased with the decision. I want to be connected with whoever suits me most, not whoever pays the advert fees, said Jamie Ogle. But Lucretia Aldao thinks the Commission should be taken to court for fiddling with our right to choose. Finally, Simon Rankin had some advice for Google, saying you could always ask the DUP for a loan if you're short. Yes, indeed, we're back to Brexit and the British government fallout again. In ongoing efforts to cling to power, Theresa May appears to have done a deal with the Democratic Unionist Party, prompting much anger on Twitter. Harry Leslie Smith summed it up, saying when you need to bribe the DUP to stay in power, that's not strong and stable, but craven and desperate. May also revealed her plans for EU citizens in the UK post-Brexit. All three million of them will have to apply for a special ID card. UK's top Brexit negotiator David Davis says he's pretty sure, but not certain, he can get a deal. Finally this week, same-sex marriage in Germany looks set to be a reality. Two-thirds of the German population are in favour and only the Conservatives want to block it. Former European Parliament chief Martin Schulz said we will push through marriage equality in Germany this week. Elsewhere, recently re-elected PM Joseph Muscat has introduced a bill on marriage equality in Malta. Back in Brussels, ILGA's annual equality gala took place. Check out the hashtag for fabulous photos of people having fun, indulging in some eccentric dancing and posing for photos with Cecilia Malmström, Elisabetta Bianowska and even Günther H. Oettinger. As Anna Shepard showed, it wasn't so much a red carpet affair as a rainbow one. This week we are supported by Statoil, follow them on Twitter and check out the cool photos of their floating high wind park at Mazdar. And that's a wrap for another week. Join me again next week for the goodest, baddest and craziest goings on in the Brussels bubble.